versus 850 for, for this test kit. So that's one of the ways that we um, are able to uh, actually do the test, but then you still need to incubate it. And again, you have the problem with cost in that most field incubators that are battery operated require, um, uh, they cost probably about $1,000 and they still somehow require electricity because you need to be able to charge up the battery. So, um, so we've developed a uh, low cost incubator that uses the change of phases of a chemical in order to maintain temperature. So you can actually heat it up using a variety of methods. You can, um, so you can start with a material like this um, and you can heat this up either by pouring boiling water over it or by putting it in the sun if it's hot out. And the melting temperature of this material is 32, sorry, 37 degrees centigrade, which is about 98 degrees Fahrenheit, which is human body temperature. And that's the temperature that you need in order to grow up the samples of the water quality testing um, supplies. You can take these pouches and you can melt them. And then as the material starts to recrystallize, it becomes a little bit milky like this. And then you know it's at the melting temperature, which is exactly the temperature that you need to maintain in order to do the water quality tests. So we can put these into just a regular cooler. And if you have enough of them, it will keep the samples warm for 24 hours, which is exactly what you need in order to test whether the water is safe or not. And so that allows communities without electricity to be able to do water quality testing um, sort of in their own with um, in a without even having a field laboratory you can do it just um, anywhere in the field so this is a technology which um, which we've developed over several years at DLAP um, but it doesn't help a lot if you know what, that your water is contaminated if you can't do anything to treat it so we've worked on a few things um, to help uh, with that. This is 